Okay, so if you saw my last episode, you'll know that I just completed the Spirit Bear final quest, Spring Out the Mountain, and it awarded me with this Spirit Petal over here. And with this Spirit Petal, you can craft two items, the Petal Wand or the Petal Belt. Now, I've already got the Petal Wand. Uh, in fact, I'm way past that. I've got the Tide Bubble, which is better than the Petal Wand. But we can now make the Petal Belt, which I should have had ages ago. However, we can now craft it for 15 billion honey. It has 250,000 capacity. It's got all of this stuff. It's pretty good, and I've got everything to craft it. And also, I'm finally going to stop getting the comments about how I don't have... Uh, petal belt, but I have Tide Pop because I should have it by now. Tide Pop is a lot later game than Petal Belt. I just haven't got Petal Belt because I'm lazy. Anyway, we're going to buy it in 3, 2, 1. Let's craft the item. There we go. Received the Petal Belt. And now, as you can see on my chest, there is a big petal, big flower. And today, I'll be checking out how good it is. And I'll be telling you if it's worth buying. So let's start with what the Petal Belt stats are over here. So, Petal Belt, it's got some capacity, plus 50% capacity, all the normal stuff, 100% loot luck. But at the bottom is the main thing, the passive, Petal Storm. If we go over here to our abilities, passive Petal Storm, every 30th boost token, fires 30 Petal Shurikens around you. So it shoots in like a circle, Petal Shurikens everywhere. Um, and when it passes for a B, it instantly converts pollen, and it collects bubbles. It doesn't say it there, but it collects bubbles. So that is really good for blue people. So let's go test it out in Pinefield up here. Okay, it's about to activate. As you can see, 25 out of 30. Before it activates, please subscribe. So let's check out this. What's it going to do? And it's about to activate. And there we go. See a ring of shurikens here. And you can see it's popping bubbles. It looks like a bubble there. Okay, it didn't actually quite get to pop that one. But it did pop bubbles. And it instantly converted, which is quite hard to see on video. However... You know, I don't know how else to show it here. It seems pretty good, to be fair, for a blue hive. It's not game-changing or anything. It's not going to increase my, like, honey per hour to, like, two times or anything. However, it should help for now. Thanks for watching this video. I appreciate you getting this far. You individually watching this video. Thank you so much. Subscribe if you're new, especially if you watched this far. Or at least go watch one of my other videos. In fact, I recommend you go watch this video on screen right now. Hopefully, I remember to put one there. Bye-bye.